GMC says this car, its new Yukon Denali, is not a luxury vehicle. It may be professional grade, it may be well equipped, but don't you dare, it seems, say that it's luxurious. But with the new Denali starting at $80,000, and it can go to $100,000, it's certainly priced and more importantly, equipped like a true luxury vehicle. What they're really saying then is that the Yukon Denali is very specifically not a European badge dependent, and yes, they certainly do mean that as insult, luxury vehicle. As Stuart Pierce, GMC's senior marketing manager says, Denali owners are simply saying, I want a nicer vehicle and I am willing to pay for it. And just look at this thing. The interior is so luxurious. It has a power operated center console. Yes, power operated. That at the touch of a button will slide from the front seats all the way to the rear seats. The front windshield boasts the industry's biggest heads up display. There are no fewer than nine different camera angles to help you park the big beast. And the darn thing will kneel down so passengers don't have to work their quads too hard to get in or out. It will also rise up some 50 millimeters on those suspenders so you can traipse off road to your heart's content. About the only thing it won't do for you is bow and curtsy. What I'm trying to say is that this is about as far from the traditional truck-like SUVs of yore as you can get. Actually, that's not quite true. It still feels like a truck. Oh, that fancy dance suspension really does smooth out the ride like never before. And the smoothness of that big 6.2 liter V8 will not be mistaken for a 20 year old Sierra. But behind the wheel, there is still very much the sensation that you're driving a truck. Maybe it feels a bit more ponderous, fans would say deliberate, than an Audi sports SUV. Or does it respond with the direct steering of a BMW Ultimate driving machine? But it has a presence, a weight if you will, that is unmistakably American. And one can only assume, given its popularity, that that is exactly what the customer wants. All dressed up in enough leather, chrome, and high-tech g jaws to choke a Mercedes, of course. For more information on SUVs and other road tests, just follow driving.ca on Instagram and Twitter. I'm David Booth for driving.ca. And sorry, pardon the glasses, I just had eye surgery. So if I look like Riddick, it's not on purpose.